Hello friends and welcome back to my studio. So last week I put out a video called Meditations in Metallics and I had a really wonderful response to it. Um, not only did I get a lot of views, which is always fun to see, but I had a lot of people really um, engage about it, uh, whether it was they want to try that or, um, you know, just the idea of art as therapy in general more. So I just wanted to talk about it a little bit from my perspective, and um, I, I think there's two different things that that type of painting does for me. And um, for those who didn't see the first one, what I did was I had a bunch of canvases prepped, like 15 canvases prepped and ready to go, and a bunch of paint mixed in a very simple palette. And the first thing it does for me is, as Taniva, an artist, um, I was talking with my friend Tracy about the fact that there needs to be a term for kind of the opposite of artist block, where you have so many things going through your head, it's hard to settle on something. So when I have that going on, where it's hard for me even to paint because there's just so many different ideas rolling around, I'll do a day like I did with the metallics, where I just go into it with very little... Um, plan and I just see where the day takes me and it really is a good reset for my brain in that way as far as like clearing kind of the cobwebs out and figuring out okay this is what's really pressing me right now of what I want to do and you know sometimes I end up with something from the painting that I want to explore more you know so that is one time, one reason I will do that type of day of painting where I just paint a lot. Um, the other reason is a little more personal uh, to me. And that is that a couple of years ago, I was in a really bad car accident. Um, and I've been dealing with a lot of um, post-concussion syndrome, PTSD, and both of those have led to a lot of anxiety. Um, this is something that's really new to, to me. I'm 46 years old. I've never been an anxious person um, until the last couple of years since the car accident. And what a day of painting like that gives me is it gives me some place to focus my attention um, without having a outcome that I am like, this is the outcome I want to have. Um, you know, sometimes I just, and like I did with this uh, set of paintings, is all I did was variations on straight and ring pours. Um, and they all ended up very different, but it gave me a simple task to kind of repeat and that allows me to relax a lot. It allows me to get that anxiety out. Um, it is very calming for me. And I choose colors that I know will be calming to me. Um, and yeah, so that's that's the reason why I do this these types of painting days where I do a lot of painting at once. Um, and I hope you find that beneficial. Uh, if you are interested in trying it, I definitely suggest it. It's it, But whether you're dealing with some sort of artist block or you're dealing with anxiety, I, I think it's a great tool to have in your toolbox. So if you have any questions about that, please put them in the drop down below. And yeah, I've got three more paintings from the uh, group I did the other day. And yeah, let's pour some paint. Thank you for being here. Here we are with the colors. So for my base coat, I have this bucket of drips that I have color corrected. And I'm gonna do a video on that individually of how I take my drips and change the color so it works for what I'm currently doing. And then I have Old Gold from Artist Loft. I have Warm Copper from, I think that's, it's Modern Masters or rust I can't remember. I have uh, just black from Blackrylic. I have champagne gold from, I believe, Modern Masters. 
I have a gold flash, or I think it's flash gold, which is an interference gold from Modern Masters. And then I have platinum from Modern Masters also. And I'm using this in place of my silver. I need to thin that down just a little bit. Um, but this gives a really nice kind of almost mirror-like silver color when it's in a painting. So there we go. If you had a glimpse inside my head, you'd know I'm different than you. What works for you might not work for me Cause that's our solid ground I'll build a life that helps me thrive I hope you're doing the same Through my eyes I see different than you
Shake. 
still feel it even now. On the graves in the cracks of a thousand leaves, somewhere in between, our past and our future rolling over. All the dividing things, are you still listening? Want to be heard by you? Slow. Where the cold and the hot meet, and the powers that be lead.、Mm Here we are with a dry walkthrough. I really love these. Probably gonna throw a coat of satin varnish on these, but I don't think they necessarily need it. Loving this and the bluish green from Amsterdam. Look how different that color looks when placed next to. Different colors, like there, it looks really blue. Over here, a little more on the greenish side. Really love the way it changed this painting. And then here, just the simple golds and copper. Simple but beautiful. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this today. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and I hope you all have a beautiful day.